And today we'll be we'll be starting from scratch from yesterday because yesterday I just wanted to understand what the game is. Uh, we'll start from scratch. I will do the campaign because why not? I guess. Um, what face? What up, yo? Hey, Eclipse. Hello, Eclipse. So today's stream we will begin by playing some Riftbreaker. And then uh, we'll play Dota later on, most likely. I will probably want to play Dota as well. Roger that. Begin field base setup. <clears throat> this game is so interesting, just from trying it yesterday. I might actually play it all day, I don't know. We'll see. My is this the best feeling when it says when I started streaming right on time on my lunch? Hey, good timing. Hope you enjoy your meal. Have a good lunch. What's for lunch? I spotted something near the LZ. I just had some peanut butter sandwich and now I'm ready. Ready to start up. <clears throat> you haven't even had breakfast yet? It's so already here. Mmm. Rice and meat, something like that. Iranian food? That sounds good, dude. That sounds good. I haven't had much Iranian food. I had a friend who was from uh, Iran when I was in uh, school. And my uh, One of my best friends, but... I don't know if I ever had much, like, Iranian uh, Iranian food, though. When I got over there, they, they were cooking a lot of just, like, straight-up Swedish meals. Uh, over there. <clears throat> Alright. Magnetic field check. Arrow. Repeat magnetic field We got check. some geothermals. We got ironium here. Check. We need Looking carbon. Sycorax belt. Planet Galatea 37. Ashley. We have arrived. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. It's so beautiful here. Virtual simulations on Earth were good, but this is amazing. An alien tropical paradise, and we're the first more iron up here. I'm not exactly human. Wait, you I think I found some. Well. Here's some carbon. And the paradise part Yo, there's a lot of carbon. This is huge. Remember your training, Ashley. We should set up a base as soon as possible. Okay, so you could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. We need to get a headquarters going. The headquarters no requires 200 of this. Of this game looks interesting. This is Rift Breaker, and it's uh, it's definitely interesting. It's a it's a cool game. It's a cool game that I'm uh, just starting exploring. You know. Headquarters construction is in progress. This is going to be hey, the base of operations on Galatea 37. What's the game about? Uh, so it's like a Factorio meets like hack and slash kind of. Um, Whenever I am critically damaged, there is no other backup if this building is destroyed. That's basic training, Mr. Riggs. So we're gonna try and get some carbon here. They talk a lot in the campaign, by the way. No, this is, this is a full game. Uh, yeah, I, I bought it for myself. I'm not sponsored or something right like that. Only some basic power plants. Okay, wind we'll turbines, just get a wind turbine. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. We'll get a carbonium power plant placed here too. They talk a lot and they don't really stop later on in the campaign. Mm. Also. Remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area. I guess that's one reason to maybe uh, play the survival mode. It's car yeah, it's a bit Factorio style, but you don't need to connect resources. You don't need to do belts or anything. So it's like Factorio, but without belts. To which a lot of people respond, so not Factorio. <laughs> um, we should build up our base as quickly as possible. Yo, there are enemies. I see them on the minimap. Standard protocol advises to set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. Yeah, However, get rid of these guys. Don't expect as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. So far, 
It looks like the long-range quantum scans were very accurate. The local fauna and flora appear almost exactly like during training. Follow the protocol, Ashley. The environment okay, here's iron, so let's connect this iron to our base. But the scenario or is crafted by Riftbreaker Command. The power. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to run a brute force check if this is a simulation? Our base. You never give up, do you? Do you? Our base is not under attack, okay, is it? Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt get to more power. some solid defenses, just in case. Not in the Thank case. you, Captain Novak. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs. Let's see if we can find more carbon somewhere. Like the graphics? Does it zoom uh, in and out? I don't think so. The scroll wheel doesn't zoom. Maybe there's a different button for it, but I don't think it zooms. Hi, Waga. I'm back for my monthly contribution to my favorite streamer. Yo. Bloodbath. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bloodbath. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we're running out of power, so I need to I need to fix that. My brain wagon base always spaghetti. Uh, yeah, I will build pretty spaghetti, but you know, in this game, it's not so important as in Factorio. Not enough carbonium. Damn it! How much carbonium is one of these? Only five. Okay. Damn it. Running out. We're getting there. Come on. You can do it. Let's go and uh, dig for some more. So we're getting attacked in five minutes. Extra long extension cord. Yeah. This game has no end, my face. Um. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. I mean... It's, it's very Factorio-esque, and Factorio is uh, technically as an end, but, you know, doesn't really. So, uh, yeah, that doesn't surprise me, hearing someone say that. Okay, we want to get some power storage, because not being able to store power kind of sucks. Game name. This is Riftbreaker. It's in the title and uh, category. All right, so let's get one energy storage here and more power. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Holy shit, I haven't seen that before. I played it a bit yesterday, but... The fuck? Uh, why I don't... Uh, why I don't play Dota Man? I mean, SD, you're Magnus. I have no idea what the fuck that message is, dude. <laughs> but I don't know why you're not playing Dota. Explore a bit more. As well as other useful items. And it will Enemies. More ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. Alright. Explored a bit more, just more iron. I don't really need that yet though. And now we got a lot of resources so we can come back. And let's build an armory. I'm trying to keep all the big important buildings close to each other this time. No, I didn't do that before, but, you know. Whoa. We'll build some solar panels here. Solar panels and uh, 
wind turbines will be our energy for now. Why don't I play Dota? I'm missing Magnus. Ah, I see. Um, I mean, I'll play more Dota soon. How can you miss my Magnus when literally everyone is playing Magnus in the world right now, I feel? <laughs> There's an abundance of Magnus. Alright, soon an attack is coming. Morning, fuck up. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for my weapons. Dude, you need a lot of wind turbines and shit to provide energy. Holy crap. Surely there's enough power now. It's all about the energy storage. I mean... But I, I'm at zero energy though. It's not my storage right now. Having some storage is nice, but the storage is connected right next to it. We're just at 15 power though. But yeah, we'll, we'll build up. There's no sun at night. Yeah. I know. Once, once the sun comes out, like now, we're, we're gonna start banking up a little bit, I think. Since we have both the wind and the sun. Harness everything. Nice, more Kobone in there. Oh, right. It wanted me to build at least six sentinel towers. I guess that's a... It's an optional quest, though. A large group of creatures heading towards our position. It looks like our presence is being We're starting adding some towers just to have some safety Actually, here, though. We don't have a lot of defensive structures. Prepare to fight. I guess you were right about setting up more defenses. We'll have to handle this ourselves. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. I don't have enough AI cores to support any more defensive Some more AI cores. You will need to construct additional Is this Factorio AI with better graphics? Um, it's Factorio inspired for sure, but it's um, it, it's got different elements to it. It's it's not very similar. If you want something that's like Factorio but graphics like this, then I would recommend instead. Uh, fuck, is it called the? I think it was Chinese developed. What was it called? I forgot the name. Base is under I did play it a little bit. Um, there, there's another one that's very, very true to Factorio, I would say. Um, Dyson Sphere. Yeah, Dyson Sphere is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, Size Factory is also there if you want to play like you know, the, the first person, first person view kind of style. Ashley, are you still skeptical about the local creatures level of aggression? I'm skeptical about the procedures for prepping this planet for colonization. Humanity lost its love for nature after. But the yeah, world this this game is not very very factorial. It's just factorial esque. So you do build a base, you do have stuff like that, but you don't have to build any belts. And you don't have to worry so much about leading resources around. I feel like it's hard to talk as a streamer when you play this game though, because they talk all the time. Holy shit! Not entirely true. This is so much dialogue in this game. Have already secured a number of resource-rich planets for humanity. We're not on the brink of extinction. Our goals on this mission are clear, and our survival. I should get more um is the top priority. Damage to the more carbon income. So let's go here and get it. Whoa, settle there. And you knew what has to be done. Are you doubting the mission? I know what has to be done. That's not the point. Galatea has to be prepared for colonization. I don't doubt that. If I didn't come here myself, then someone else would have. I believe that we can do this in a better way. We have to defend ourselves and secure the necessary resources to set up the rift station. Can but I one... we don't have to destroy all the wildlife we encounter. Humanity doesn't need another stripped down factory world. If we want to progress as a species, then we should study this planet and learn how to blend with the Connect the power. And prepare a safe home for humanity. <clears throat> it's okay to just talk over them. The dialogue sounds fun, though. Yeah, I think they're just trying to keep being engaging for the player and, like, have it be interesting as you play. Which I totally get. It looks like we'll add some uh, storage here. 
If you'd like to construct more advanced buildings, you'll have to upgrade the headquarters building. Unfortunately, this process also emits a lot of high-frequency energy waves. These creatures are clearly drawn to our energy emissions, so it will be like an alarm bell for them. We should strengthen our defenses before upgrading the HQ. Wind speed is returning back to typical values. Wind turbine efficiency returning to normal. Just exploring. Not destroying the wildlife we encounter. Yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're peaceful here. So as we progress, we're gonna be able to research and uh, craft more weapons, armors, and different uh, different upgrades to ourselves. But so far, we don't even have research unlocked yet. We'll get it soon, though. I'm just exploring a bit because. I want to know where the resources are around me. Oh! Holy shit, that thing explodes! Okay! That explodes. We'll respawn though. But we dropped our machine gun, so we gotta go back there. We can build some more stuff while we're uh, back at base though. I'll build some more of these. I want a lot of storage. So why are we killing Zerglings? Um, because they live on this planet and we're here to take over. Ah! All oh, right. Why do I have this enabled? What? Why? God damn it! Did the Windows thing? Uh Yeah. Yes. Did did fucking. This should be off already, right? Yeah, it's the the sticky keys uh, thing. Yo, what is this even? Okay, we got our our weapon back, so that's that's good. We'll just explore in a circle here. So you have two um, robot arms, and you can equip different weapons on both of them. So you can cycle with uh, Q and E, you can toggle your different um, arms weapon. So on our right arm we have a, an energy rifle, and we also have a machine gun. So we can use this, or we can use this. Honestly, both are nice. Okay, cool. Let's go back. Some mud. A lot of storage is why I said I wanted, and I mean it. So we're gonna upgrade the headquarters soon. I think we can do it now, actually. So upgrade this. Yes. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We should reinforce our defenses as much as we can. Things are going to get very hot, very soon. Okay, we need more Aronium income now. Let's get some iron. Yo, thank you for sub, uh, Tokamasa. Hope that you are well. Thank you for subbing in. I was hoping you'd play this game. I want to play it too, but too lazy. Huh. I am glad we are back on the same page Is this connected? Or... Securing our base. We can't save this world if we let it kill us. Hey, Mr. Grumpy. Why do you insist on calling me names? 
steal. <laughs> I hope you're not offended. Are you? No. That would be inefficient. Come on, Riggs. Let's not be so serious. Is there a map random or the same each time? It seemed random to me. Yeah, they're, they're definitely random. I mean, it could be a few presets of maps, I guess, but most likely entirely random. It's inefficient. Okay, we're gonna need even more income of iron, though. There's a lot down to the east. So I might just take some power and go this way. Yeah, this this should this should be good. Again, add some defenses here. Not enough steel. You just have TP station rift around. Teleporting is free and no cooldown. Oh yeah, the rift portals, I, I guess. Along immediate travel. Cool. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. Wait, are we missing power now? Damn it, we ran out of power. Not enough ammunition to operate defensive towers. Base is under attack. Down here. A tower has been destroyed. Threat neutralized. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. We should start downloading new blueprints so we can construct more advanced buildings and items. Build a communications hub as soon as possible. Okay, let's remember to build some additional power plants for it. It consumes a lot of energy. A lot of energy and we're out of energy. I'm just gonna build a big fucking energy station. What a pretty game. It is really pretty. You can run through these things so it doesn't really matter if I to build a long line of them. Not enough Damn it, no power, so my income is shit now. Oh, I have to go dig! Yeah, that's a good tip though, uh, Box of Tricks. Um, I'll definitely set up more stations if I... It's going to rain in a moment. Once, once uh, things get a bit larger and we have more places to go, we'll set it up. This rain is harmless to our base, but it decreases solar panel efficiency until it stops. Oh, my solar panel efficiency. Okay, our energy is kicking up now. Good. Okay, ener energy is finally starting to look look kind of good. Let's build more storage, though. Uh, upgrade or build more communication hubs. Right, we don't have the column hub yet. When am I getting a flamethrower for these animals? Um, I don't think I can build a flamethrower yet. So once I've Got the research, I'll do it. Oh, you keep these things. Interesting. I guess you keep the unlocks for crafting recipes. I unlocked this yesterday in my campaign when I played it then. This is a different campaign, but I still have the recipe for it. Okay, cool. Um, we could craft one more uh, machine gun, but don't really have much arm, uh, ammo yet, so. Still added A, must be doing something right. Uh, you mean this game? Yeah, this game is definitely doing things right. Game is cool, dude. Wait, 
Was that a Giga Boy? Did I hear something? Nope. Okay. I just realized I can see my own shots on the minimap. Not a question. Do I claim this as well? I think I do. I just want more, more resources. Yo, the Invis boys. Okay, they destroyed everything I was building, but no, motherfuckers. Oh, that was just a shadow. Getting fucking paranoid here. And some power. It's like a third person shooter Factorio. Kinda. It definitely has Factorio elements, uh, but without the need to lead your resources around. Wait, did that fuck up? Is uh, beautiful. Okay, that's our energy storage. Let's build a calm hub. Do it here. Communications hub construction in progress. We can download all the So the calm hub allows us to research. This building's quantum entanglement template and that research will be important. It's a pity that we can't upload anything back to Earth. There's like no There's so much carbon on this map. Here. I, can't I realize now how good my first map was things. in terms of the uh, resources near my base. All of our research data. I had so much carbon then. Is operational and the rift back to Earth has been opened. Let's focus on that first. Guess we could get the iron while we're here too. Why wouldn't we? Yeah, there's gonna be co-op multiplayer for this uh, game added. They confirmed that they want to work on that and that it's going to take 6 to 12 months is their estimation. Um, so that's super cool. Oh yeah, we're going minus now on the energy. Do, 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 do. Get more energy. I should probably build a one of these. Build two of them. The bio plant biomass power plants. Up. That is not straight, but you know, nobody cares. You guys don't care. Right? We'll just do uh See a little, a little skip here. Oh my god, perfect. Of construction finished. We can now use it to download new technologies. Looks great, thank you. Not in Alright, a lot of energy. We can now research shit. Good. Uh, we'll research the cobalt handling. Actually, orbital scanning, right? 
I think, first. OCD, not me. Good. Very good. We can not build one more com hub. We need to unlock that. Let's uh, add more storage. storage is full. Not enough carbon. Build more storage facilities. Wait, things not connected here? Oh, something's not connected. Oh, one of our mines is not connected because of something I did. Is it good now? Yeah, now it's connected. Cool. Let's try and find more uh, carbon. Ashley, now that the basic base setup is complete, we should start working on our primary objective. Constructing an interplanetary rip station. It is going to take a long time to build, so we should start working on it as soon as possible. That's true. It's a massive building with multiple components and pipeline connections for plasma fuel and coolant. It's going to be the central yeah, structure we gotta build something. with multiple support buildings, so we should plan a lot of free space around it. Let's start by placing the foundation. Okay, there's some. Let's to kill some shit first. Oh, here's more. Nice, there's a lot more here. There's a lot more carbon. Let's see if we can just connect all this shit after I clear some stuff. Oh. Innocent animals? Dead? Artillery guys, you know, snap fires over here. Dude, there's so much. Uh, wait, that's the thing, right? Okay, we gotta discover on this. Oh shit, there's something big. Power jump fire. Nice. No, I died there. Wait, did I hit something that exploded? Oh well, we'll go back there. Is it perfect simulator? Could be, could be. Sure. Oh, was it an invis boy on me? My HP was dropping fast. No, I saw that, but then it all disappeared at the same time. Here's a big boy. But he's easy to kill, you just fucking run in circles. Done. Alright, now let's get all of this. I'm detecting a decrease in wind speed. This may affect our wind turbines. It may? A decrease in wind speed may affect our turbines? You better fucking hope it affects our turbines. What kind of shitty construction do we have otherwise? The wind is very slow today. Alright, 
connect all this to main base. I should probably have put a teleporter over there too while I was there. Fuck it. Not enough plant biomass. My favorite food is spaghetti. Oh, this is glorious. You can turn on damage numbers in the menus. Some creatures are immune to some uh, Steel attacks. Storage is full. Yeah, but it's just like resisted storage. when they are Wind immune to them. Up again. Power generation is back to normal. Base is under attack. Rift station. Yeah, we don't need to build this yet, though. Do we? Let's kill whatever is here. My are pretty sweet. Just spamming them all over the base. Oh, Chris is starting to. Oops. Storage is full. Read and jump into that. Facilities. You mean the mines on the two hotkey? Like the mines we... I nearly drop. Need to build a roof station in order to advance uh, the campaign un unlocks. Yeah, yeah, we'll build it. Don't worry. We will build it. Just prepping some shit. We can build it up here. Actually, let's just build it. Construction of the Rift Station's foundation is in progress. Congratulations, Ashley. This milestone marks the beginning of the next chapter of our mission on this planet. You sometimes sound a bit like Colonel Nordstrom. Do you know that? I received additional instructions on how to motivate you and keep your spirit high. I'm just busy this turning his world into a lifeless, resourceless husk. Yes. Do I play any non-stream friendly games off stream? Um, not really. I mean, I guess maybe at some point I play off stream, but I generally play stuff on stream. exactly what I wanted to hear after traveling halfway through the galaxy. Captain Novak, you were selected for the rift jump to Galatea 37 as an exceptional individual. You are amongst the elite of the elite of Earth's expeditionary forces. During your services with the extraterrestrial science corps, you have time and again shown courage, bravery, and an unflinching willingness to sacrifice yourself to complete your objectives. You are destined. Okay, that's a nice speech. It sounds very uplifting. But they didn't read my bio very well. What do you mean? The sacrifice part. Power! In the Orion mission, you were working without me back then. Yes, that and a few other things. Do you want me to read further motivational pieces? That's enough of Colonel Nordstrom. Let's skip the military pathos and stick to your original programming. We've got a planet to explore. Roger that, Ashley. I am archiving. I wish that this could be even bigger size. Like, it can be. Yeah, this is the biggest size. 4x4. Four four. But. I wish putting down the foundation was. even easier to do.
construction of the Rick Station Foundation has been completed. We need to construct this guy make this place a little bit prettier, you know. Before we can start powering up the portal. Pave everything. The Rick Station has three main components that require a lot of rare resources to be built. The fusion field accelerator requires enriched uranium. The hyperparticle condenser requires palladium. And the quantum gate stabilizer, which requires titanium. We haven't found any traces of these elements near our base. Alright. Looks nice enough. These resources might not be pleasant anywhere near our location. We should construct Delicious pavement. a portal scanner yes. to start scouting for interesting locations around the entire planet. It will allow us to establish precise coordinates for long-range rip jumps around the planet. Build an orbital scanner. The orbital scanner okay. uses advanced technology and requires additional resources in order to be built. Research completed. Headquarters level three. Let's research that. And this. We need to gather a large amount of cobalt to construct this building. Ashley. Oh yeah, we can use the cobalt scanner now. Nearby. I've marked its approximate location on your map. We should go there and search for it with the geo scanner. It's not that close, really. We should craft some better equipment before we try to venture out that far. No, we are actually doing kind of nice now. Yesterday we were plebs, but today we are we are doing a little bit better. And I want all the storage. Give me, give me. This patchwork uh, paving here is um, beautiful. Someone put a gun in the way Actually, of your storage. Now that the Rude. is operational, we can craft some new weapons. That, that's a good idea. Right, we can craft shit. We got power jump fire now too. Quality Ah, it's cheap. Fire damage, splash damage radius. Okay, so when we jump we uh do fire on enemies around us. Nice. But cheaper than the giga expensive one that we found. Let's craft another machine gun and equip it on this arm. Yeah, the enemy attacks are getting constantly stronger. We need better guns. Now that you've crafted some new equipment, don't forget to change my loadout and weapon configuration. How do I increase how many com hubs I can have? Oh, com hub level two. Headquarters level two, building limit cap increase, communication stop. Oh, okay, so when I get this research, I can have more, more research. I can research quicker. That's good. Iron deposit depleted. It's very satisfying to fight stuff in this game. Very satisfying. I must say. They've just really managed to make it, I don't know, so fucking nice to murder innocent stuff. Yeah, it's a bit like a Factorio Diablo mix. People were saying that yesterday too. I could see that. Yo, let me put a teleporter over here. Where was it? Here? Rift portal? Okay, the snapfires drop a bomb when they die. So it's scary to be next to them. Here's something. Base is under attack. 
Uh, I'll be there soon. I'm just kind of busy. An energy connector has been destroyed. Our towers are out of ammo. A portal has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. Okay, they're attacking a lot of places. I gotta go and fight the others. What is this? Eating my power I saw cables? I playing this yesterday and decided to try it out myself. I was great. You were great. I believe you. Of course you were. Of course you were great. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Great, yeah. I'm just, I'm just messing, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's a cool game for sure. Oh, that's just one. Okay, we'll we'll build one then. Boom. Wait, can you always just Oh, you can always just hit set. Are in. Cool. Get ready to fight. Fighting again. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. Great. Base is under attack. Yeah, I should put more uh, teleporters around just so I can join these things faster. Anyone tried to recommend you a new game called Inscription? Yes, a lot of people have. There's a lot of games to play, man. There's a lot of games to play. I just uh, right now feel feel like I, I have enough things to play. I'm not really looking for more things, so they just fucking land on me anyway. So here I am playing Riftbreaker, which I wasn't planning on, but you know. But yeah, more people have recommended Inscription. The storm is getting really intense. I hope it doesn't overload our power grid. There we go. More storage. No matter what game Waga plays, base is always under attack. That is true. Base is under attack. Okay, so we're getting better research. research Let's keep researching stuff. Uh, like liquid handling. And uh, tower ammunition handling. Yes. Renewable energy. That sounds bullshit. Who needs that? Who needs that? Add some things to research. Is there something I want to research here? Reactive armor, radar pulse, dodge roll, grenades, spear, hammer, power fist, flamethrower. Yes, research that. I also want to have the power fist. Am 
No. It's a bit annoying to me that they don't insta-remove stuff when you sell it. Like, if you miss build, I wish it would just remove it immediately if I try and sell it. So you have to live with your mistakes. Damn. Fucking harsh. Fucking harsh, yo. Are we, are we researching stuff right now? Storm oh, we're not researching because it's, it's so upgrading. Uh, it doesn't do anything while you upgrade. Sure, sure. Fine. I'm just the impatient man. I'm gonna put some lamps up. Chat will thank me for lamps. Imagine me actually lighting up my base. If anyone saw me play Victoria, you'll know that this is a rare, rare treat. Feels, you know, somewhat safe compared to last time at least. There's a certain level of structure as well. I right, now the research is gonna kick off, right? Boom! Two minutes and we'll be done with next research. Sweet. Uh, all right, let's look for cobalt. not. There it is. There's more stuff? New baby waggle waggle. Ironium. I will claim it while we're here. I guess I don't need to open up the menu, you can just literally press C, yeah. Mud golems nearby, oh, invis voice. Fuck you! So you said you can turn on damage numbers, that sounds nice, I think I want that. Settings. Graphics advanced, is it here? Graphics? User interface, maybe? Cursor size, damage show only critical numbers? No. Show damage numbers on player? Yes. Damage numbers on enemies? Yes. Damage type icons? Sure. Show me everything. Give me the info. All right. Confirm. Dig. Just more carbon. Five is apparently a number for a machine gun. Right. Get fucked up. Hello, I'm just here looking for stuff. Or 
five is the HP that they have. Those guys. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Actually, I mean combat in this. I don't know if I want to call it combat, more like slaying poor innocent creatures. But you know, fighting in this is uh, really satisfying. Holy shit! That's a lot of the bombas. Bomba s. Yeah, watch out for their the bombs. Dude, I'm, I'm just looking for stuff. Stop it! Stop fighting me. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. No. Holy, that's a lot of Invis boys. They're pretty strong. Fortunately, I have longer range than them. A lot longer range. Those guys hurt a lot. Okay, let's put up uh, mines here and then put a roof station here too so we can get up here. A new technology has been developed. So many enemies here though. For construction. Uh, did you do? Where was the jump station? Is it under this? Yeah. I could just make power there, but for some reason, I just enjoy connecting all the power to the same fucking grid. I, I don't want to have small isolated places. Yo, they're fighting something. What are they fighting? Okay, me, of course. Base is under attack. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe they're fighting something else. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Thank you, Roguish. Appreciate the resub. <clears throat> Is this game any good? Yeah, it feels good. How big are the maps? No idea. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just Factorio style, like basically near infinite map. <sighs> Ammo storage is for me, right? Yeah. Material storage pipelines. Mm -hmm. Yep. Tower ammo factory. Yes. Let's make some of those. Your sub was ignored. Oh, yeah. Did I miss you?
Thank you for the nine months, Olium. Weather conditions are changing. Please, please no unsub. Speed is increasing. A new technology has been developed. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. It's not really my main base that gets attacked, I feel, most of the time. It's just my outposts. Carbonium deposit depleted. Some towers here. The wind is calming down. Wind turbine power output is coming back to normal. Good, good. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available. More solar power. My sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. Base is under attack. Where? Oh, over there? Did I not put a TV station somewhere? Oh, I put one there. Should definitely put one all the way to the north here too. Station and some more powers. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ. The update. answer. Thank you, Mick Redness. Thank you for the 42. Support more communication hubs. If we want to download new technologies faster, then we should construct as many of them as possible. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Research completed. All right. We researched a bunch of shit. Let's do headquarters level four. Out of power, it seems. Let's make another power farm. If this was all my storage here, uh, let's add wind turbines here next to it. Be able to research upgrades for the solar wind stuff. Yeah, I think so. I think we'll get that. I'm just reach researching uh, a little bit of whatever. Now there's so many things to research. 
focusing on uh, getting the headquarter upgrades early though since they give us more communication hubs which allow us to research faster geothermal vent We have more ammo now, 640. Add more storage. I'm detecting though. intense seismic activity. A strong earthquake is coming. Strong earthquake? Hopefully it doesn't fuck up it's anything an we built. It's going to seriously damage all buildings near its epicenter. Oh, it's over there. More geothermals. Base is under attack. Holy shit! Oh, the earthquake is over here? Dude, this guy seriously damaged everything in this area? Are you serious? The earthquake is over. The tremors oh. are getting weaker and weaker. We should quickly repair whatever's been damaged. A new technology has been developed. Yeah, it seems new fine. Buildings are available. It looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. Interesting. Shit, this is all auto repair. And investigate that area. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Uh, all right, I'm gonna be right back, chat. I'm gonna be right back one second. All right, sorry guys, I'm back. Just had to take a quick break. There's streamer integration in this. Yes, check and vote for random events. Really? Huh. I guess, but that's maybe not in the campaign, right? Maybe that's just for survival mode? Because I didn't see anything about it when I started the map. 
it would make sense if that's like for for a regular map and not for a uh, campaign, I guess. Oh yeah, I hear it broke. Remember that overconfidence is slow and insidious killer. <laughs> yep. In some in some games, I feel overconfidence in certain games is a very quick killer. There's nothing slow about it. You play you you play their billions and tell me that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Play play a little bit of billions and see if you if you still believe that. It's a fucking rapid murder machine, that's what it is. Okay, we, we need more ammo storage, because ammo is obviously super nice. Um, so we need to shoot more. Let's put it here. Too many buildings at this time. We oh. Can't construct anymore. Oh, we have a limit on that. Interesting. Okay. We already reached our limit for those. A little lamp. Get out of here. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there Let's and clear these it out. things. Let's upgrade the hub too. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. A tower has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. Radar coverage enables defense towers to shoot beyond their viewing range, detects hostile entities, and shows them on the map. Great for spotting incoming attacks. Okay. Seems good. Oh! Yeah, we can now see that there are enemies in here. <laughs> they thought they were safe from me. They thought they could hide from me. Radar! One more. Two more. <laughs> Warning! A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Alright, we gotta go and take out the nest and... Can we? Can we have a flamethrower? Does this? I'm sure I need to have like liquid handling or something to use this. Power fist. Hit points gain per hit. What? We life steal? Oh, dude, the DPS is like way higher than the sword. Is it single target? I have to find out. Let's craft it. Crafting completed. Let's equip Power Fist here and Flamethrower here. Oh my god, we can use Flamethrower, okay. We, we need to craft one more. We, we need to make one more Flamethrower, there's no way I stop at one. Crafting completed. Uh, take... Flamethrower. This is confusing as shit though. Wait, can I... Oh, this is... There, we did it. That's what I wanted to set up. My sensors oh, let's go. Creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. Do I take damage and fire? No, I don't. Ah, 
Ah! Can you die? Okay, the flamethrower is not actually that effective against those guys. Yeah, we have... Base is under attack. God damn it. We have enemies in our base. Tower destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. Not enough ammunition to operate defensive towers. Oh, we're power fisting. Yep. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Holy hell, this is a large attack. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Base no shit! Attack. My base is in shambles. Tower destroyed. One of our buildings has been destroyed. I gotta clear out this first and then go south. Energy connector has been destroyed. All right, my base. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for. Get out of my base! Blueprints are available for crafting. Power destroyed. Holy shit! Power fist mech. Some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. Can you double fists? Important question right there. My power. I right, that, that actually bothers even me. No, I got pushed to the side and it built there again. Mm. Warning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Base is under attack. Tower destroyed. Alright, we're taking out this base. Whatever. Whatever, man. Let's go. What the fuck is this? That's your home? This looks like a nest of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. There is a oh yeah. This might be Fisting was the way to go. He died. Wait, is there something? What is this? What is this? This should stop them from gathering in this area and improve our chances of survival. Every bit helps. Ashley, I'm detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. No, not a fog, dude. It's so annoying. That guy takes like no damage from fire. Some are just very resistant to it. But nobody is resistant to punching. Carbonium deposit depleted. Laboratory provides advanced research facilities that are required to develop technologies based on extraterrestrial fauna and flora. Okay. Little nose there. Oh, 
Yeah, we can do a power jump fire. Let's do it. Where... Movement skill. Dash. Power jump fire. Equip. Okay. Looks like you've gone more into the game today. Uh, yeah. I've, I've, uh, thought about it a little bit while I wasn't playing it, and, uh, it's cool, man. I don't like the fog, though. The fog thing is fucking bullshit. I jump over this? Nope. Right down to you, huh? Power fist! Oh, he's stunned! Or? I think I stunned him. It was right under him. Uh, let's do some jumps here. There's the thing. Can you connect? You have power now? You don't have power now. Somewhere along the way, it's not connected. Oh, that's where. <laughs> Night quit. Base is under attack. Come on, I'm busy. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. You stop being shit, man. Give me this. Oh, the fist can stun but not crit. I see. Steel statue? Unique item. Unique item? For what? Steel statue for what? Did I build you? Oh, steel statue. Decorative statue for the Riftbreaker base doesn't have any particular function except being a decoration. Oh, okay. I see. 
purely decorative, huh? That's... I kinda like having one machine gun, one uh, flamethrower equipped. The damage mix is nice. As opposed to enemies just being completely immune to us. To this. No, no, don't shoot me. Ow, that hurts. Dash fire. Oh, hello. I need to go in and power pistol. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are at research from construction. Alien research. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. Mech armor standard. Reflective armor? Maybe I should upgrade my mech a bit. So I get stronger. Armory level 2. Greater ammunition production increases the armory building limit to 2. Yeah. Sounds like it could be good. I can get the better armor, I guess. Laboratories. Uh, what else do we need? Energy storage level two. Let's just queue a bunch of shit for research, man. Power Fist is crazy. Maybe I should just equip two uh, Power Fists. It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. Get stun locked. <laughs> so good for taking those guys out. This game seems way too complicated for me. You're enjoying it. Wait, that's Cobalt Ore. Ashley, now that you've got practice with using the Geo Scanner, you can use it to search for hidden resource deposits. We found a source of Cobalt. Nice. Uh, the game is not actually that complicated. It's actually very simple, but we could at least scan the area around our base with it. Who knows what's hiding under our feet? It is also capable of finding hidden underground alien life forms. How much cobalt to add? Then we should definitely can't see it. The area around our base We're 500 or 500, but can't see. Can't see how much I have cobalt. We now have enough cobalt to construct the orbital scanner. Also, be mindful of this building. Yeah, I definitely want to have a jump station here and some defenses. And our energy storage capacity before connecting it to the power grid. More AI hubs. 
defenses, uh, scanner. Why do I build two scanners? Does that make them better? Who knows? Let's connect this. Yeah, finally we have cobalt. The rain is over. Base operations returning back to normal. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Iron deposit depleted. More storage, you say? Don't worry. New technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available. Why not use the geothermal way there? Uh, I don't have ge geothermal. I haven't researched that yet. We're gonna research it. We'll get it, but we don't have it. We do not yet have it. Let's upgrade our research even more. Upgrade that thing. Another armory. Orbital scanner construction is in progress. But before we start jumping off to different parts of the planet, we should build the necessary local research facilities. The communications hub can only help us with downloading already developed technologies back from Earth. Ah. Still, one of the main reasons why we came here is to conduct research and to learn about the environment that we encounter here. We can research new technologies based on samples of alien life forms or any new substances that we encounter if we construct the alien research laboratory building. Okay, we've got all the necessary technologies downloaded. This building requires a supply of clean water to operate. It would be best to place it close to a pool of mud or sludge that we can filter. Alien research laboratory construction in progress. Fantastic. I can't wait for it to be Water built. Filtering. This building Oops. is going to open up a oh, whole new range of possibilities hotkeys. for us. If I had a base like that on Orion, I wouldn't have lost my arm back then. How did that happen? I got careless while searching for Anorex crystals. I found a fascinating growth anomaly that was transforming all of its surroundings. I've never seen anything like that. So I had to take a sample. I was shielded inside a recon suit, but when I grabbed the crystal with my hand, it just went through it. My entire arm was infected. Why didn't you use a bioscanner to take the sample? They hmm. only work in conjunction with a lab like this. Can't reach that thing. We build, uh, build the ammo tower somewhere else. I'm sorry to hear that, Ashley, and I am glad. Or Emmy, Emmo thingies. Here we go. I will not allow something like that to happen to you. Okay, let's not get too emotional about that. If you look at it from a different perspective, I got an enhanced biomechanical arm replacement, and I still got the sample. Alien research laboratory. Do we have water now? Finished. We have oh, to power. It with clean water to keep it operational. You can produce clean water by placing a pump in any type of liquid. Clean water coming in to our lab. Research completed. So, this is the alien research, right? So this is different? Is this a separate tech tree or is this the same? Or like separate queue? I feel like it should be a separate queue. Research station? At the research. The output from the water filtering plant to the alien research laboratory using pipes. Oh yeah, pipes. We can store water. Finally, the alien research lab is operational. We can start gathering research samples and scanning the local flora and fauna. We can use the bioscanner to begin collecting samples without destroying the environment. It's the safest and most efficient way to advance our research. This is so exciting. We can finally start working on the thing that we came here to do. Ashley, don't forget that our primary objective is to establish a two-way portal back to Earth to enable human colonization of Galatea 37. That's true. Do they connect? I don't know if they connect to each other. Ensure that it is safe for colonization. 
and to minimize does that have any water to the local ecosystem by future oh yeah colonists. it does have i think minimizing damage i think they're connecting to each other right is listed at the end of the seems like they do list of priorities of this mission i'm the only human on this planet i can set my own list of priorities Uh, let's go to crafting. What do we have here? The fire dash sounds like it might be nicer than the jump. The jump seems kind of lame. Crafting completed. Cobalt 48 out of 20,000. Okay. Crafting completed. We could make multiple of these armors, but we'll just equip one for now. Fire dash. New species discovered. I want to do science on you. Come. Come, let me science you. Oh, the sound when we jump. Oh, middle click to science. Let me science you. What the fuck is this? With my science beam. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. I'm here to scan. Yo, you guys. Am I doing something? Is this useful? I'll just beat you to death. Oh, there's something. Why am I why am I hitting here? There's something in is it the tree? Ah. Yes, of course. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Stop running away! Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Orbital scanner construction finished. Planetary geomapping procedure in progress. Searching for traces of uranium, palladium, and titanium. This process may take some time. The I'm trying to scan you, but you're just trying to kill progress. me. That's not very fair. Calculating coordinates for possible rip jump locations. The process will soon be completed. Wait, what's happening in my base? Procedure finished. We cool? We gathered a lot of very useful information about the planet and found traces of rare elements in multiple locations around the globe. One of Galatea's continents appears to be a barren for an incoming attack. Oh boy. That has been scorched by intense radiation and very intense solar activity. These harsh conditions are most probably caused by the high condensation of radioactive elements like uranium or thorium. Our scans have located a safe rift jump location for an initial scouting mission. Gaining access to uranium would allow us to construct nuclear power plants and some heavy weaponry. This should make surviving on Galatea much easier. The second interesting area is densely covered by acidic clouds of unknown origin. Spectral analysis detected traces of palladium scattered throughout this geographical zone. I have marked a safe rift jump location for initial reconnaissance on the orbital scanner interface. Titanium has been detected in a large zone of intense volcanic activity. The orbital scanner has been providing some strange readings from this area, with temperatures ranging from 800 to 100 Kelvin. On top of that, it is entirely impossible to get any sensible magnetic field readings from this area. We were able Dude, they, to they actually non-stop talk. That's one thing I feel about this game is I kind of wish they would talk less. 
all of these locations contain extreme environmental hazards and yeah i know there are nests to left uh, i'll go there as much as we can before venturing out into these new biomes danger enemy creatures are closing in get ready to fight tower destroyed where? A Fighting there? Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack. They don't talk much in survival mode. Yeah, I mean, maybe I should just play the survival mode because I don't know. I might be, uh, <laughs> I might be more just wanting to play the game than actually care about whatever their campaign is. I don't think you can handle that. What, playing survival? Am I too bad? I don't think I can handle the way they keep talking all the time. That's my bigger worry. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. Oh, we have a bunch of towers. Artillery tower, yo. Any, any stats? Range 8 to 60. 8, 0 to 34. Okay. Flamer towers. Rocket towers. 0 to 34. Repair facility. Repairs damaged buildings in a radius. Okay. I'm detecting a decrease in wind speed. This may affect our wind turbines. Survival is very hard to beat campaign on brutal and get wrecked on normal survival. Oh, really? Turbines are less effective. That hard? Base is under attack. You really don't want your yeah, hubs getting eaten during an attack. Oh shit! Our energy. Uh, I guess it's. They said the wind speed is down, huh? Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. No wind. We need geothermal. Do I have it now? Plants, animal. Oh yeah, we have geothermal. Nice. Are those the little things on the map? Like this thing here? Is that geothermal? It is. I guess the geothermal is just jumping up and down because we don't have power right now. Wind is picking up again. Power generation is back to normal. Let's get a bunch of uh, geothermals and. Mushroom. I was wondering why I hit it. 
You just build on the vent, it produces power and mud, you can just ignore the mud. I see, so it outputs mud if you want it. Base is under attack. Uh, one second. So important? All right, fine. If it's so important. An energy connector has been destroyed. Oh yeah, these guys take... No damage from that. I hate killing them in melee, though. It's one of the most annoying enemies, because they don't take fire damage, and killing them in melee is annoying. So when you're out of bullets, you just... I mean, I can punch them, but... but they drop the fucking ball, and it hurts. Trying to do this thing again. What are your FPS values in this game? Does it feel like it slows down randomly? Uh, I have no idea what my FPS values are in this game. I don't have it turned on right now. Mod target piercing. Mod splash damage radius. Ah! Mods? I found mods. All this geothermal feels so slow compared to just spamming up a bunch of uh, wind and solar. I mean, I guess it's nice to have some power that's not wind and solar, because sometimes it goes completely offline, kind of. But yeah, Vanilla, that sounds good, right? Very good. Wind is the way to go. I ignore solar completely. That's kind of what I've been doing now, too. I just started ignoring it at some point. Hello, I'm just here to scan stuff. Interesting. It I'm just here to scan and you guys attack me. Large of and oh, I managed to kill everything but him. If we can no, don't die! Of this species, nice. We learn how to obtain larger quantities of hazanite to craft better equipment and weapons. I'm just going around scanning shit. I don't even know exactly what it does, but... 9 out of 10 on the... Mushrooms. I'm sure it's great. My energy storage so low? True. Something must have happened. My energy storage. Oh, it's because we're disconnected. It must have disconnected somewhere important. Ah, well, well, we'll look at it. We'll look at it soon. We just. Way too busy right now. Setting up these also important geothermals. Wait, I can't build it here? How, can I power fist this? Damn it, it's in the way. Ashley, find a 
detected a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming on the deposit depleted. This fog is bad right. dense. Let's go back and see why uh, things are weird. Panels, oh, now everything is good. Turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. Dude, what if you get attacked during the mists? Then I'm just fucked. No energy. So I guess that's why having some um, geothermal is nice. Is there anything else I want to build right now? More weapons? Or tower ammo thingies, perhaps? There you go. Yeah, it, it was only local, I guess, but were we really disconnected there then? <laughs> I thought the geo geothermals are fully collect connected. Let me see. Since we're producing 2,296, I Well, these are connected. But this is not connected. What the fuck happened here? What disconnected? Something disconnected. We're missing this 500 power for our main base. Aha! Found it. The fog is gone. Base efficiency is back to normal. Fucking aliens, dude. Apparently we can jump back to where we jumped from now. It's nice. Water filter? No, no, no. Not water filter. This. Is this similar to Factorio? Yes. It's definitely similar to Victoria. Um, I want to build a cobalt research mine. Completed. Can I do that yet, or do I need to research it? Renewable energy, carbonium defense, dig tower. Is it in this liquid handling? No, no, no. Solids storage. Rare element mine. Yeah, that's what we need. Cobalt! Yeah, 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 that's some. Get it. There we go. Rare element mining level one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Synthesize carbonium and ironium at the expense of large amounts of energy? Hey, that sounds badass. That sounds cool. Whoa, lagging when I tab out a bit. Use the orbital scanner interface to jump to distant locations. Oh. Ah. Ah, this thing. Wait. This thing? Yeah, this thing. How? This is a scanner, right? Yes. How do I jump with it? Is it this? Ah, oh, orbital scanner. Headquarters, radioactive desert reconnaissance, acidic plains reconnaissance, volcanic area reconnaissance. Ah. They're all low on prominent resources. Let's go. Let's go to the desert. Rift.
not successful. Environmental scanning in progress. The natural background Where am I? in this area is very high. It would kill most living organisms from Earth. My standard radiation shield ah. can withstand these levels of exposure without any damage. However, if the background radiation is so high in this area, then we can expect much more intense sources of gamma particles. These could pose a serious threat. Oh my god, it's fucking the spiders. The atmosphere is also very thin in this area. UV radiation from the sun could pose a real threat. No wonder this area looks like a desert. We'll have to improve environmental shielding on our structures before setting up a larger outpost in this area. Ashley, we should gather more data about this area. We can later use the readings from my sensors to develop improved radiation and UV shielding for both my armor and our structures. Ah! Okay, let's try to scout as much area as possible to feed your sensors with enough data. Our sensors are indicating large quantities of tanzanite within the cacti specimen. Let me scan you, motherfucker! Tanzanite as a catalyst for production of high energy rockets and equipment. It would be great if we could gather large quantities of this mineral to create something useful. A broader arsenal of weaponry could undoubtedly help us survive against all these new hostile species. Let's start researching tanzanite handling. These green crystals are emitting a lot of gamma radiation. Try not to stand too close to them, or they will damage my armor. Stand the fuck out of him. We got him. Huh? Seems like a hospitable place. No, 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 I like it. The whole spiders everywhere thing. Let's equip the double flamethrower. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Scout the area to gather some data. So just running around? You don't even need to scan to do that thing, I guess. But I want to scan. Just because I can. Yeah, just walking around increases the scouting. Whoa! -hoo -hoo! Can murder spiders. I can scan the tree while it's on fire. And just destroy it. Hi, spiders. That one was determined.
Oh, did it. What is this? Mods, hit points, gain per hit. Oh, nice. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available It's a gorgeous game. Ah, the game is beautiful, dude. The game is absolutely beautiful, for sure. The technology queue is empty. Oh. Keep researching, I guess. We're getting somewhere on the research. What do we have? Sword advanced. Okay. Liquid weapons advanced. Ah, oh, better flamethrower? Yes, yes, better flamethrower. We need that. Burst rifle, high caliber rifle. Sure, sure. Let's get some weapons. Just some mech upgrades in general. Uh huh. Sounds great. 1840. Yeah. Sounds good to me, Vanillier. But so soon. So soon. Familiarity increased. Great. So familiar. Going to stay in Ashley, I'm detecting a new species of creatures that have very unusual movement characteristics. That sounds very interesting. The creatures in this biome are unlike anything that we've seen before. Let's go to its suggested location and try to learn more about it. Technology has been developed. New blue power fist. Oh, oh. Ah. The sun's activity is decreasing. Heat and radiation levels are returning back to normal. Fascinating. Look at this creature. It has a very dense and thick carapace, yet it moves very swiftly over sand. We should study this species further. Yes, we can learn how to move faster on sand. These creatures in this area, but this won't be enough to gather samples for research. Let's pass this creature's characteristics to the orbital scanner and look for a location where we can find more of them. Affirmative, Ashley. We should have some results available shortly. Hello? You like fire? Do you like fire, boy? Do you like fist? Oh, he doesn't give a shit about fist. For the Stregoro species. We can go there to study it further. Travel to the Stregoro's nest. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
a new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Dude, this, this game is such a cool world, honestly. Oh, what the fuck? You want a piece of me? Holy shit, there's an army of them. More fire. If you have enough fire, man. If you have enough fire, I don't see why not. There's a dense dust storm visible on the horizon. The hell? It shoots. Oh, it hurts. You like fire? I hate dust storms. How do you get ammo? Your, does your mech suit just produce it? Your base builds it, and everything is like kind of global resources in this game, apart from energy connection. Um, so, yeah, over time, my base just refills my ammo. Whoa, whoa, I didn't even see them. New blueprints are available for crafting. Yeah, it's the armory. The, the armory gives you, uh, gives you more ammo. Fuck is that? Is he? He's chilling. He's just like laying and putting sand on his head or something. Always oh, tries to melee attack when you go close to him. He has a range attack, but also melee. Mm -hmm. Yo, is that an awesome ox? You too, dude. I should probably figure out what the fuck the familiarity does even in. You know, I, I keep scanning things. I'm sure there is a reason to do it. I just don't know what that reason is. I think it just unlocks tech at certain price points. Hmm, yeah, maybe. It looks like the dust storm is over. A new technology has been developed. Familiarity gives you a damage bonus? Really? So if you scan something a lot of times, if you have good knowledge... Oh. Can you do more damage then? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a new species. Welcome. Uh, eight. Yeah. Eight is good. What is this? Oh, I dropped this thing. Stone statue. Thank you. Is that a child? Is that a kid version of it? It is, it's a baby. Well, it, it was a baby. Smash! Smash! Oh, 
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. I'm gonna play some eight players game. I'm detecting an intense eight players game of what? Coming our way, due to a recent coronal mass ejection on Galatea's sun, it may disable some of our equipment. Oh, progressing? Nah, it's are something else. Crafting. This ion storm is really intense. It ah. disabled a lot of equipment. We have to wait it off. It is intense. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Which is a different version of the Invis voice. Everything is getting back to normal. Thankfully, this didn't last long. Yeah, she was asking how many slices of cheesecake I want. Mr. Riggs, I think that we can use the natural background radiation data that we've just gathered to filter out the naturally occurring radiation within the desert dome. We can use the orbital this? scanner to search for even higher damage over time mod to pinpoint nice. a possible location for extracting nuclear fuel necessary to finish constructing the rift station. Affirmative, Ashley. We should have some results available shortly. Orbital scanning completed. Ashley, Power jump we fire. have detected a new area within the desert biome that can potentially contain higher condensations of radioactive elements. I have marked its location on the orbital scanner interface. Excellent. We should go there as soon as possible. It would also be good to have the radiation shielding research finished before going on that mission. Come here, Lucia. Why are you so hard to scan? These are impossible to scan because they just cycle. Kinda. They died to my mobility spell. Oh yeah, my ammo is not the technology queue is refueling. So we're out of iron on our main base. Okay, we'll we'll jump out of here. Let's go to headquarters. There's no permanent outpost in the different. We'll discard this position. You will not be able to return. Ah uh, no! Can I make a permanent thing? Maybe I can. Do I just need set up? Do you need to go all the way and set up a rift station here then? And outposts. Ah, oh, this thing. Is empty. I see. Base is under attack. Already. Warning! I'm detecting dangerous sun activity. Oh, Actually, because we no built close to those things. Desert, we're going to sustain yeah, damage. we can't build close to radioactive things. The sun is burning us and our structures. It's dangerous, but this activity should not last very long. Ah, let's let's just leave this place. We have no reason to want to stay, really, I guess. 
All buildings would be sold. Yep. Sounds good. Go. Yes. Yeah, it seems like a shit place to build. Okay, so we're completely out of It's good to be iron. back at HQ. I feel much safer here. How come though? Are you just consuming it fast? Remember that we can travel between planetary locations using the orbital scanner interface whenever you are ready. You can also check our list of objectives on that screen. Okay, Mr. Riggs, let's check to see if our base is still intact. Then we can go back to exploring other biomes. Let's research some shit again. What is this? Environmental shielding? Ah, okay. Yup. Armory con consumes stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Carbonium deposit depleted. Iron deposit depleted. I say carb Carbonium biomass. is depleted. Can't be right. Many of the more advanced buildings require a lot of cobalt to be built or upgraded. There's not enough of this resource in this area to cover our needs. Mr. Riggs. Can you calibrate the planetary scanner to search for more cobalt? Depleted. Affirmative, Ashley. I'm starting the scanning procedure right now. Oh, it just said one of the depleted. one of the we things is depleted. Sure, sure, sure. Planetary location that is rich in cobalt deposits and would be perfect for establishing a new cobalt mining outpost. Excellent. It's even located within the tropical zone, so it should be more hospitable than the other areas of the planet that we visited. Let's go there as soon Scatter as possible. rare elements. Depleted. Guess we can just uh, jump here. Iron deposit depleted. Let's increase our income a little bit in iron again then. Seems to be a shortage. Carbonium deposit depleted. Oh, here we go. That's a lot. Take this guy's ass and then we can get that. Something satisfying about setting everything on fire? Yes, I agree. We're really lagging behind on the iron production, huh? Guess I neglected it a bit. Upgrade to harvest just level two. Hmm. True. I think I might have that by now. Did I unlock it? Remember. I'm 
detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Seems like a tedious thing to go around and uh, upgrade. But... I guess we do need it. Large group of creatures. Attack soon. Oh, you can press a G? Okay. I see. I am deposit okay. depleted. I suppose it's not so bad then. Oh yeah, and upgrades make you harvest more, I think? Like, I think you get more out of the same resource? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, one, one sec. One sec. Stop bothering my streamer. Carbonium deposit depleted. Yeah, that should be right, Vanilla. That should be right. Attack is soon. Nice, my turrets. Base is under attack. Let's jump over here. Did I pull all of it, or is some of it gonna hit here? Hot I might have put all of it. Power destroyed. Oh yeah, these these guys make sense. The powers are getting their ass kicked. Did we do it? Is it done? Great. Great, Vanilla. Build them at level 2 immediately, or do I have to always upgrade them? Since I always have to upgrade them.
Ironian synthesizer component. I'm not saying hold alt, hold art for attack. upgraded building. Oh, really? The wind is picking up speed. Loose objects are starting to fly. One of our wind speed is at an exceptional high. Wind turbine efficiency is at maximum. Not enough ammunition to operate defensive towers. Why? Why are these guys always attacking my mines? Fuck off. Construct additional pylons, monk. Hmm. Yep. Additional pylons needed. Something no burn. Oh, dude, our power when the wind is picking up. Holy shit. They scam you. Scanny scan. Hello, my golems. Dude, they are tanky. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Oh, it's up up to the right. Okay. I still miss my coffee so much in this game, but getting used to it bit by bit, I guess. There's a lot of odd keys to be fair. I was gonna recommend this game to Vanilla, but I realize now. Oh! <laughs> that was an explosion thing. I realize now, I mean, there are too many odd keys. You, you, need, you, need, you need big hands to play a game like this. It's, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but. You know. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Oh yeah, I lost my... I was like, why can't I shoot with both my machine guns? I lost it! Back! Can't I craft better machine guns by now? Small machine gun advanced. Nice. So what does this have? Oh my god, the damage is so much higher! And it has mod slots. <gasps> oh, okay, dude. The DPS is like fucking tripling. And then you can add mod slots on top of that? Alright, we, we need to craft new Crafting weapons. Completed. Why have I not Crafting been doing this? Completed. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. All right. First of all, we do that. Second of all, what is this? Titanium machinery. Hmm. Speed. Building speed. Cooldown. Repair tools. Okay. Repair tools might be nice. Maintenance. What is that? That's this building. Energy sensors. I can craft more of these. Mod drop rate plus 20%. Resource drop rate. I mean, yes. I do want more mod drops, right? Give me, give me more. 
I'll make another one. Mods are... Mods are love. Research completed. Mods are love right now, I think. Let's make one more. Crafting completed. That'll give us a lot of armor, too. Or... Force field thingies. So place this with a small machine gun. This is a flamethrower. Another flamethrower. Another machine gun. How about modding? How do I mod? Empty. Mod. Crit damage. Splash damage radius enable. Target piercing. Damage over time. Oh, let's do target piercing. Increases the number of enemies that are pierced by each shot. Oh, uh, but they don't pierce at all. So is that mod just useless? Or does it mean that one fourth of the time it will go through one target? <laughs> I'm confused. Target piercing, 0 0.2. Yeah, okay, so it, it will randomly sometimes pierce, it seems. Because it shows that it goes up. Okay. Acid damage over time? No, 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 no. Crit chance, though. Splash damage. I think we do splash damage. Okay, equip. Nice. And the other one? Ammo costs. Flamethrower mods? No mods for you. Okay. Of course I know the deal, Vanilla. Sounds good. Hostile creatures. I'm looking for the big. Oh, what is that? It's huge. This creature is extremely hostile. It can be dangerous to our base. Kill it before it kills us. We'll finish researching it in the lab. Woo! Woohoo! It has some range attack, and it hurts. So Maybe we can learn something important after researching it in a lab. All right, we killed it. Now we gotta investigate it in the lab. Let's go back to base. Everything upgraded that should be upgraded. Let's build a larger energy storage area. I just misbuilt one. I definitely didn't. Fucking hell. Iron deposit depleted. Oh wait, yeah, you said holding alt when you build it? Level two, okay. But then you can't move. That's so tedious. We have power shortages. Connect more power plants. That's so strange. You can't move when you do that. So building is, is weird.
We could just start moving first and then hold alt. Really? Okay, so you wanna like move, hold alt, build, okay. But but you can't turn, then you're just stuck going one direction. Okay, cool. Is it an issue they're working on? Oh what's up? What's up problem like thank you dude. I mean nope. Wait, do I not have the upgrade for these? I don't. Need to research that, I guess. <clears throat> alright, alright. So what do we want to do next? What's this symbol, by the way? Isn't that... That they're not doing shit? Are we not researching right now? But we're researching something. Is that just this thing? Ah, it's just this thing researching, I guess. So we can research two things simultaneously, can't we? That's what I was thinking about earlier, that we should be able to. Wait. Research completed. Like this is separate research kind of thing? That's a huge spike to the energy storage. Ah, uh, yeah, we, we increased a bit. Let's increase the energy production as well. Yeah, these things are straight up not working while the other research is going. So the research is, is just not simultaneous. You have different things to research different things. So these are just AFK. Until we go on the other A thing. small piece of comet has entered the atmosphere very close to our position. It looks like it's coming our way. Why don't I just burn some carbons for energy? Not like you are about uh, ecology of this planet anyway. Good question. I also wonder what the economy the is for burning right carbon for energy versus uh, synthesizing carbon for a lot of energy. Like, you can produce carbon for energy, but I guess, yeah, you, you can't just do those two. It's probably expensive as shit to uh, create it. What is this thing? I didn't pay attention. Fireball? A fireball? Research is just a data download that you can only do one at a time. More facilities means faster research. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can build a research station. Robust set of sensors and analysis used to gather research data from objects or anomalies that are too complicated to be scanned by... Aha, uh -huh. okay. So this thing you can build to scan an area. In case it's too advanced for me. Huh. Carbonium deposit depleted. So much. Oh, the comet landed just northeast of your base. Nice lady mentioned to go take a look. <laughs> yeah, all right. Listen to the nice lady. Us.
Is this? No, this is not where the thing landed, right? Oh, we're out of power now. Where's the spitter? Oh, it's gone. It's a timed thing. Oh, it's a timed event. Okay. I see. I'll have to keep that in mind for when the next one comes around. What are these flying things? What the fuck? Oh, that thing has a fucking swarm. It's a carrier. It's a carrier. I want to scan him before I kill him. That one. Hello? Hello? I can't scan him. Oh, there's the thing. Almost missed. Was that just plant biomass? Holy shit, there's a lot of carbon in this. What? 60,000? There's no way I'm passing that up. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for Krabby have finished researching Tanzanite handling. We can start researching new weapons and equipment based on this mineral. However, please bear in mind that we will need to obtain this resource to craft these new inventions. The purple cacti, in which we originally discovered Tanzanite, could be a good lead. Purple Let's cacti, these things. To study how it manages to synthesize this material. It's our best lead. Ashley, I have already detected an interesting location with dense groups of these cacti. It's these things, it right? nearby, and we can jump there through the orbital scanner interface. Okay, let's do that as soon as we've secured our current objective. Yeah, mud golems. Oh, that was fucking huge. group of creatures heading towards our position. I guess we defend this attack and then go rift jump. Demolishing nature. I'm just, you know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's exactly what I'm doing, actually. Yeah, edge of map. Alright, dude, 
you don't have to join the attack. Get out of here. <laughs> Danger! Hostile creatures are approaching our base. Get ready for battle. Oh my god, it's beautiful. But I don't know if that's all though. Go and protect the other places, but at least that will that will keep that part of the map safe. Tower destroyed. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Oh, down Base there. Is under attack. No. The best part about this game, honestly, is how well they designed the combat. It's just so nice. Um. <clears throat> how, are, how are you? I'm seeing that you're ordering pizza very often. I'm a little bit worried about your health. Uh, pizza is expensive if you're considering the calories. Yeah, I'll have to watch out, man. I'll have to... I'll have to make sure to try and eat a little bit healthier too. <laughs> Pizza is a composite meal, it's every food group. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Thanks, Mom. I, I think it's cute. I think it's cute someone wants to look out, you know, but. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna do a rift jump somewhere. Have I really gone this far in three hours? Feels fairly fast. Feels fairly, fairly fast actually compared to yesterday. What's the objective now? Always expand, get more, whatever it is. Alright, so we got places to go. There's the nest he was talking about that we could go there. Gather uranium ore samples. Cobalt mining outposts. Oh. Tanzanite concentration. Construct a rift station to return to Earth. Construct a, yeah, all those things. Research has night handling. Travel to Stry Stregoros nests. Search for uranium. Establish cold mining. Let's go to a nest, I guess. Kill the natives and expand. Yeah, that's sort of our objective. Have I seen the fried pizza? Still looks great. I have not seen fried pizza. Interesting. It appears that this life form contains large amounts of hazanite in crystallized form. 
If we can gather more samples of this species, we could learn how to obtain larger quantities of Hazanite to craft better equipment and weapons. We can use the orbital scanner to search for larger populations of this life form. Stregorous Their specimen. presence should lead us to large quantities of Hazanite. That's an excellent idea, Mr. Riggs. Our equipment sure could use an upgrade. Rift jump successful. Dust storm incoming. Prepare for severe visibility reduction. No this shit. This breeding area is located in a narrow rocky valley. Its layout works like a large wind tunnel and creates an almost constant dust storm. It is going to be difficult to fight these creatures in these conditions. We can gather research samples in a more effective way using the bioscanner. Yes, the bioscanner is going to be much better than any weaponry here. We can use it to scan these creatures from afar without making them aggressive. It is also much quicker at finding good research samples. Orbital scanning finished. Potential hazemite rich location detected. I have marked the rift jump coordinates on the orbital scanner interface. That was super fast. It looks like there's a lot of these plants or mushrooms or whatever we call them right. nearby. We can work on proper categorization. Will this burn you guys? Sorry. More samples of the species. Two samples. Need eight more. They die so easily, those guys. This game is more dialogue than Pathfinder got text. Kinda. Hey, we got one. And no other ones, so let's just burn you now. Or he scanned you. I can burn you. Get even more. This game has an incredible amount of dialogue, but I mean, I might just play the survival mode later as well. Who knows? Uh, hey, what an amazing game! But 20 hours, uh, 20 plus hours. It goes slow motion for me when I have a big base or when thousands of enemies spawn. I have a good system. Hope it will be fine for you. Ah, uh, yeah, you mean that everything started lagging? Hmm, yeah, we'll see. I got a good computer too, but if it's, you know, poorly optimized, there's not much you can do about it. We'll see how the optimization is. Hopefully it's not not to the level that I can't uh, play it. Ashley, I'm picking up a magnetic anomaly nearby. It might be worth investigating that area. Hello, inmates. Why there are so many of these creatures in this area? Let's investigate this. They just like being in the most radioactive parts of the cavern. Makes sense. Wait. Oh, he wants me to go north. Sure. Make our way there, I guess. Some Tanzanite. Hell yeah. <laughs> ah, whatever. I tried. Those are so hard to scan when they start running at you, especially if there's multiple scannables, because they run in front of each other. Oh, Chicken Biffy, you're also at 20 plus hours? I'm glad you're not having issues. Oh, 
guys are not scoundrel. Come here. Let me burn you. Get out of here. The Stregolo species is fascinating. Its carapace is built from an incredibly strong and light form of carbochitinous plating. It's perfect for these sandy deserts, as it allows these creatures to move quickly over quicksand despite their mass. We've gathered enough samples to start researching new technology that will... Oh yeah, I guess this is quicksand. I haven't even thought about it. The sand is fucking moving. There's too much other shit moving. I'm just focused on scanning. Scanning is endless. I mean, I guess so. I'm not rushing anything though, I'm just playing the game. <clears throat> when you have a huge base and the enemies kill a circuit connector, the game lags and takes a while to compute the best electricity routes. Ah, uh, I see. Hello, wake up. Fisting time. He did. Nice. Let's do scans off. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Yep, deal breaker. There's a good morning to that little rock. Oh, whoa, 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 what's this? There's a, there's a king crab. I see him. Come here, king crab. Oh, he, he resists fire. Do you? He's fucking blocking, what a god. He blocks that too. Melee mode. I guess we just gotta go behind you. I think he just resists everything in front. Not enough AI cores. No, not more AI hubs. Not building. Yeah, I can hit you in the back. Whoa! Whoa! I got stuck. I'm ganked by this thing. We can try to dude, the other thing blocked me. Pinned against the fucking wall, dude. Return to headquarters, load game, reconstruct. Ha! Huh. I don't even know what reconstruct means. Do we reconstruct on this map? I guess that's what we want. Defeat? That's just a respawn, right? Yeah, we just wanna respawn here. Alright, we gotta make our way up again. We respawn all the way to the south. My weapon as well. Fortunately, it was the one I care at least about. Thank you, Johnny B. Newbie, for gifting us sub to Frank the Tank 1988. Yeah. I know we can pick up our weapon. I died. 
I died before. Lost my weapon before. Did you go back to where I found you? You did. This huge crystal is the source of the magnetic anomaly. Let's get close. Oh, dude, there's multiple of them. Be careful, Ashley. It looks fragile. Step on the bombs. Ah, the bombs are fucking up. There we go. How about you? You want to get fisted, don't you? A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. No! Oh, we blew it. We blew it. Oh my god, we can destroy the thing? Okay, we failed our objective. Alright. Apparently, we're not allowed to destroy that thing. And it gets destroyed by my bombs killing the monsters. What the fuck? Why do you do that? What do you mean, why do I do that? I'm trying to kill the monsters. I didn't think that that thing was destructible. I didn't fucking know that. Apparently, it's destructible. He didn't say it. Do you think I listen to literally anything they say? They talk non-stop all game. I'm streaming. Dude, that's the thing. That's been my feedback as well about the fact that they talk all the time. Is that I literally don't listen. If someone just says bullshit all the time, and most of it is unimportant, when the fuck are you gonna care about something important? He literally just said it's fragile. And again, I also just literally didn't listen because I zone out. Alright, we, we can go to headquarters though. I guess we can take our weapon back first. I'm not detecting any more points of interest Try being married? Hmm. I imagine if I married someone, then I probably, you know, care about their opinion more than I care about the story from these people. You know? The funny thing is, these crabs aren't even hostile if you don't attack them. <laughs> Well, mission mission completed, not a check mark. The chatter between the robot and AI is 99% uh, complaints of, from people I've seen. I mean, that's the, yeah, it's pretty much the main thing that I don't like about this game so far is that it's literally just non-stop listening to them fucking talk about bullshit when they apparently also say stuff that's important, you know. How would I know if they say stuff that's important? There's literally no way of telling. Um, yeah, I guess we can go back to... Uh... So I guess this this thing was a failure. I wonder if we missed something important on that. Oh well. I don't mind the chatter. Mm, I mean... It doesn't bother me. It's just, you know... The fact that there's important stuff also in it is it is what bothers me. I don't really mind them talking in the background all the time. I just, again, filter it out. Can you redo it? I could, yeah. I could load if I wanted to, but I don't load. Successful. Initial scans indicate rich cobalt veins in the area, as well as multiple ironium and carbonium deposits. Great. That's just what we were looking for. We can set up a large mining base in this location. To oh yes, our mining and rift station construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction.
I should have been holding alts. But that's also a bit weird, because... I don't know. Holding alt and moving. I think... Probably easier just building them unupgraded and then just upgrading them. Oh, there's mud here. I see. Fuck. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Yeah, holding alt builds them already upgraded, but you can't really move left and right if you do it. So you can like start moving, then press alt, and then build, but then you can't stop moving. I don't know, it's inconvenient. automatically transfer all of the resources that are mined in this location back to our HQ, even if we're not present in this location. We can construct a network of such outposts around the planet to build up our economy. It's the only way to acquire enough resources to construct the Rift Station and all of its components. Be mindful of where we place these buildings, though. Our headquarters have a capacity limit of how many outposts we can support at once. So whenever there is no use for an outpost, we should deconstruct it and recycle the resources that were used to build it. Ashley, I am picking up a lot more activity in this area. We should expect strong resistance from the local creatures. Understood, Mr. Riggs. Let's make sure to set up solid defenses for this outpost. Cobalt mining is moving forward. This location is very rich in resources. We can also set up additional carbonium and ironium factories. Yeah. Remember Good. that we don't have to build everything at once. We can freely rip jump between outposts and return here later if we need to expand our mining operations. Let's see some geothermal here too. Maybe I should kill those aliens that are nearby. Why would you want to build lower level build? Ah, uh, costless? I mean, you probably wouldn't want to build lower level builds pretty much ever. There should just be like a toggle button or something, like just build the highest, you know, level shit. Or just a way to pick it when when you're building. Shouldn't be as tedious as it is. But it's kind of refreshing to see the game actually doing some things wrong, because a lot of things, this game is getting it right. Yeah, the Mr. Riggs build time thingies are available too. Yeah. Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. A fog. The worst weather event. The it's fog. Anything in this fog. It's also affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out. This event is bullshit. It's foggy. Fog the worst in games, but the prettiest IRL. True, true. Yeah, fog IRL is amazing. Fucking love it. I usually go for a walk where I go over a river and I normally go like for a walk no matter what time it is. So I'll be going at like 3 a.m. And going over that river at 3 a.m. is like a fucking experience, man. It's really cool. Because, um, I don't know, the, the mist just puts itself so thick. And it's really cool. It's like you're walking right into it. Just a few meters ahead of you, you can still see the mist, you know. Like, it's cool. Gone. 
base efficiency is back to normal. Good. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack. A building has been destroyed. Come on. I just started building that. Who dares destroy these buildings? Oh, it's the, the fuckheads over there, isn't it? Of course. Damn, he died fast. Okay, I guess I don't need to set up too much more than I already set up here. New blueprints are available for crafting. No research? That's not right. That's not right. Let's see. Plasma tower, flamer tower, repair, sentinel tower level 3. Oh, right. I already have Sentinel Tower level 2, but I never build them because I don't think about it. So I've been building level 1 towers all this time, even though I had level 2 for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, the, the whole build thing is definitely strange. They should just build higher levels. Don't get why they don't. Minigun? Uh, yes, please. Yes. Extra stable floor. Yes. Just throw a bunch of shit in the research. Yeah, the radar does show where war is. But I think I got enough set up here for now. Search for uranium in new planetary location. Here? Hold left alt while building to automatically build the maximum building level available to you. Yeah, that's a shit system, game. That's a shit system. Change it. Left all to toggle would be fine, but holding it, like, why? Why, game? I am detecting a very high background radiation in this area. It is dangerously close to the safety limit of my armor. Good. This means that we really are onto something. I don't expect to find uranium rods lying around. Let's use the geoscanner to search for some earth. Not what I was looking for, but we'll keep looking. 
What the fuck are those? Lessigans? Oh my god. They shoot. I shoot too. Let's see an alpha. Ah! Oh! That was so much damage. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. There we go. Some uranium. More uranium, please. I need so much of it. 500. Sorry, Zerglings. dust storm visible on the horizon. We won't be getting any good results by searching for uranium this way. This is tedious. Exactly. Ashley, this is our lucky day. My sensors are picking up a larger underground uranium deposit. I've marked it on our map. Thank you, sir. Excellent. This is taking Let's forever. Immediately. Highly radioactive area. Yes, we'll go there. Sounds great. Not great, not terrible mode. Engage. Ow. Ow! Oh, getting stuck is really dangerous. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. Just researching a bunch of easy researchers now, so we're getting them done really fast. 3.6? That can't be right. The weather is clearing up. I can see everything again. Let's hope this doesn't happen again too soon. Blueprints are available for crafting. are available for crafting. I like how there's always 
Zerglings when you do this. You find one of these things, you try and do something, the Zerglings are like, no. Nah. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Decorative plants. Big, big. The new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. <laughs> yes. Round, round we go. This is co-op. Not yet, but they want to add co-op. So uh, they, they will work on adding co-op and they said that within within uh, 6 to 12 months. Or 8 to 12 months, I think. Something like that. They estimate to have co-op for it. Would be really cool. Fuck yes, let's scan these guys. Holy shit! No! I couldn't go third. Damn. Damn it, dude. That was quite a few. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. There's so many enemies on this planet. Or this part of the planet. The sun's activity is at an extreme. Uh, someone said that re or scanning scanning creatures makes you do more damage to them if you have more knowledge the of them, which seems seems like a reasonable thing. It would be cool. Oh, it's those guys. Oh shit, the form a uh... Ah solar radiation is getting back to normal. Ah Holy shit Weapon drop. Okay. <laughs> Those guys are annoying. Should not get surrounded in a fucking cave. With those guys. This game is so much bloom, can't watch it. Yeah. Craft new weapons. Uh, I don't know how much... I guess we can craft the minigun now. I guess we could craft the minigun. It's not necessarily stronger than the advanced small machine gun though. DPS wise. Rocket launcher? Maybe a rocket launcher could be nice to have. Crafting completed. Let's try a rocket launcher.
Yeah, that seems kind of nice to have. Where did all the enemies go? They just kill me and then they disappear. There they are! Look at them fucking backstabbing us. Familiarity increased. Nice. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. So scanning does increase damage versus them if you get it high enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. I wonder what, what the scanning plants do though. Is it like research or... What do we have... What do we have to gain from uh, scanning the plants? More yield? Oh, if you uh, if you want to uh, harvest them. So tanky. You can grow plants or crystals via cultivator from alien research. Hmm. As more resources, familiarity grows up. Uh, right. Can I blow this up? Oh, the rocket launcher getting his places. Now oh, that's Pog. That's a lot of crystals. Familiarity increase on the lessigans, nice. Storm visible on the horizon. Are we fine to go in here? Whoa! Hello. The sky is barely visible now, and dust is getting everywhere. I hate dust storms. Okay, this thing is tanky. What the hell? Most of them would die by now. Can you die? Why is it so tanky? Just can you? I'm just using up all my ammo here. Damn, dude. What a tank. 
guess he was radioactive and chat as fuck. I want to be radioactive too now. There's a lot of creatures around this area. We won't be getting to that uranium without a fight. <laughs> you say that now. Uranium elsewhere, but that's probably going to take more time. You can find these creatures, or you can try to figure out a different solution. Thank Fic you for the advice, Mr. Figure out a different solution. That's very helpful. Mm, no, fighting seems good. Skanas. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. This is big skanas while we wait for ammo to come back. But now we got some ammo. Oh, I see. The invis fox. We're familiar as fuck with the radioactive stuff now. Yep. How do I gather it though? Can I just gather it with my hands? Apparently not. But I mean, it didn't really get me anywhere. Yeah, we're probably gonna find a mine here. I was close here. I have to go even more. Even more up. Yeah. Oh, it's here. Uranium 180, 200. Oh, we got a fair amount. More, please? Through this, there's no way this is destructible, right? No, but it's right there. Something. This ion storm is really intense. It disabled a lot of equipment. We have to wait it off. Oh, I missed a lot. All right, we'll go back and check. Either despawns or I don't think I missed anything. Thankfully this didn't last long. I mean I guess it despawns maybe. Oh 
Don't mind me. Those are a lot tankier than they usually are. Again, radioactive superpowers. Launcher is the way to go on those. the yellow circle on the map. It's an area where there was more uranium, but we already searched for uranium there. Didn't give us enough. Need a little bit more. more. Whoa. New species. An ultra. So ultra anymore. enough uranium samples. We have to search for larger uranium ore deposits that can be mined autonomously. Now that we know the type of uranium ore that is present in this area, we should download the appropriate uranium handling technology to be ready to set up a mining outpost. Okay, so we want to set up an outpost. We I guess we should... Radiation signature of the uranium ore that we gathered to I guess we should outpost this place. To search for more significant deposits. It's like... Following a breadcrumb trail, but I feel that we're getting closer. That was tedious. Yeah, that was a bit tedious. Not this place. Some other place. Bunch of research done. Gas energy, level one, magnetic stabilizer. Yes, crude uranium. I 
Oh, I, here we have the aggressive fauna, huh? Some familiar familiarity level one, we get nothing. And then there's two. Tells us something. Do we have someone that we scanned a lot? Three? Oh, here we go. Resistances, vulnerabilities, health, resource drop. Okay. So we get some info on them. Dude, there's so many to scan though, because there's the different species of all of them. Oh, there we go. Familiarity bonus damage. It's only 2% when we're at level four. Yeah, you need to scan a lot to uh, to get any real return for it. So scanning, I guess we don't really need to bother with. All right, let's, uh, let's bail this place. <clears throat> you also get familiarity on kills, although less than scanning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seems like needless grind. Yeah, we can we can dodge that. You might dislike modding your first playthrough. Mm. The mods seem cool so far. I just don't uh, have too many mods yet. They seem, they seem nice. Vent log. Oh. Skill that reveals the minimap in a large radius around the mecha suit. Do I need to equip this? Crafting completed. No, it's just a skill. Ah, nice. Grenade, also a skill. Damage over time plus 20%. Yes, go. Wind has stopped. This will affect wind turbine. Set of passive upgrades for Mr. Riggs improves various parameters when inserted. Radar range, resource drop it. Yeah. Power generation depleted. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Oh, we can build more ammo storage now too. Nice. Oh, we can build a lot more. Build. Sweet, we're gonna have so much ammunition now. Sweet man. Running out of ammo is very tedious. Very tedious indeed. Carbonium deposit depleted. Iron deposit okay, depleted. Okay, we don't have access to upgrading these yet. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. All these resource silos? Hell yeah, dude. Wind power is returning to normal. Iron deposit depleted. Hoarder? You gotta have your stuff, man. You gotta got some stuff. Extra stable floor? Why can't I build extra stable floor here? One plant. There we go. That's basically me decorating Not my house, by the way. <laughs> One single plant. This is just simulating my real life. There's, I have one plant in my uh, in my house. It has the prime location covering the entire window to my kitchen. Iron deposit depleted. It, it is basking in as much sun as possible. It reaches all the way up to the fucking ceiling because it's huge, uh, and it's about to fall over. And I'm worried that if it falls over, it will it will crack. I've had this one plant since I was two years old. I am 32 now. It is my plant. There are many like it, but this one's mine. It's gone everywhere with me. Carbonium deposit depleted. And there you go. That's an insight in, in my uh, glorious, <laughs> in my glorious life. Uh, 
I related a lot to uh, what the fuck is he called? Uh, Leon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching, watching Leon, I was like, this man gets it. He's got a plant. He brings it everywhere he goes. Of course. Carbonium deposit depleted. It's his plant. Deposit depleted. Let's uh, add some water to this thing. You're supposed to prune and repot plants. Oh, it, it's well taken care of. It's 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 been it's been repotted uh, multiple times. It's huge, bro. It, it was so tiny when my mom got it gifted when like I was two years old, and it was you know for me. It was it was mine. She took care of it at first. I take care of it now. Oh, I don't have enough to upgrade this thing. Okay. Some people get a cat or a dog while he gets a plant. Yep. Yep. Sort of. I want to get a dog again. Miss it. Miss it a lot. Carbonium deposit depleted. Iron deposit depleted. We're depleting all the shit we have. Hmm. You should have planned some time. I'll I'll post it on my uh, on my Twitter. How's that? I'll I'll put a picture of it on my Twitter. Carbonium deposit depleted. Iron deposit depleted. I'm just depleting everything right now. What the hell? What the hell? Wait, fuck. Carbonium deposit Press G. Depleted. It's Iron deposit alt. depleted. Level two. Nice. Give me everything, please. Why won't guess music? Oh, dude, I can have so much ammo now. It's wonderful. Carbonium deposit depleted. Iron deposit depleted. <laughs> Everything is depleting. These walls when you have guns, right? Just make a wall of guns. A wall that shoots is just, you know, better than a wall that doesn't shoot. This is. Carbonium deposit. This is just the way it is. Oh, we're completely out of energy now. Why am I so out of energy? Guess just Our no wind right now. Depleted. No, I'm getting wind. What the hell? Your lack of walls disturbing, do you? Carbonium deposit depleted. Dude, how am I using up all my energy so fast? 
What am I doing right now? Is it um wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. Producing something temporarily? The miners take loads of power? Really? Is that it? It's hard to see anything in this fog. Carbonium deposit depleted. Yeah, it's nights and no solar to boot. True. True. I wish there was a better place Iron to get deposit depleted. carbon. The wind is slowing uh, down, you generate a lower amount of power. I know. Carbonium deposit depleted. <laughs> Fucking mist. Must he manually sell each mine that he's done with? I think if you want to sell them, yeah. If you want to recycle it, then that's how you gotta do it. The research lab or com hubs take up a lot of energy if you upgrade them, and uh, you're at 50, 50 percent solar and wind energy at the moment. At the moment, bottom of the minimap. Oh, is that your energy production? Ha. Huh, okay. Sun power, wind power. A new technology has been developed. New buildings okay. are available for construction. I see. I see. Now that we have uranium, we can ha harness the power of the atom. <laughs> yes. More power, please. The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. Iron deposit depleted. Fog is clearing up. What's the production now? It's 24. Okay, so double dose. We're still negative. Holy shit. Barely, but we are. I got this stage and started getting crippled by resource issues. Oh, did you? can't upgrade geothermal or I guess I can I need titanium for that okay I cannot I do not have access to titanium yet maybe check uh, if uh, out if out of resources miners take power uh, I mean sure I'll try and check that out new technology has been developed listen no matter what the outcome is iron deposit depleted let's see here energy minus 20 per sec but it's all grayed out, so I don't think it does. No, it do it doesn't, because I'm switching it on and off, and it doesn't change anything on the power level thing. I mean, even if it did, I was not gonna w walk around and like sell them, because that's work and tedious. Fuck, I keep hitting G, dude. Because G is the upgrade button, but it's not. It's ALT! I don't know, the, the whole hockey thing around building upgraded things is... is weird as fuck.
<clears throat> got uranium handling now. Nice. Yeah, just uh, securing some of our resource production. So we get more. Um... Nuclear energy technology is needed. Uh -huh. Alright, I think we're just at four hours. I'm gonna call it here built. for today, but I'll continue tomorrow and there will be more... There will be more uh, progress on this map. We'll uh, see where we can get then. Each miner takes up nine tiles on the resource uh, patch, so you're technically missing out on some resources. Uh, so you're technically missing out on uh, some resources, it's not the resource as a whole, the number each tile has its own amounts. Yes, I figured as much. Frank the tank, I did. But building it is fucking fucky though. So, I know that, you know, that that's just straight up factorial. And again, this game is very factorial-esque. But, when I was trying to build earlier, if... You try to build here, you literally cannot build, even though it would cover, you know, one spot. I guess it was... Did I build this one here? Okay, I guess it does work to build on just one. Yeah, I'll try and be more efficient with the uh, high build then. I felt like before, I couldn't build it unless it was covering like two or some shit. Because I put it to the side. But I probably just uh, saw it wrong. Is the model looking smaller? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess I might have been close to rocks as well. That prevents you from building. That's for tomorrow. All right, we're gonna save this up.